Embassy products pay special attention to your privacy. We believe that personal data must be protected and that not all functionalities need that data to be optimal. That's why our search experience is exceptional. We focus on your feelings and intentions during the experience and we give results based on anonymous data. But how do we do it? Let me introduce you to three journeys that respect your privacy. So, as I said, we respect your privacy. So our product does not use third-party cookies. And when you don't use them, you don't need a cookie banner. I think that this is something we are not used to seeing as internet users. But you can see, it's a reality. Of course, to give a comfortable search experience, we have to store some data, but that doesn't mean you don't have control over it. We prefer using your browser's local storage, so you can see the information we use to customize your experience anytime, and delete or modify it whenever you want. Some examples are right here, your query history, and the history of your purchased products. But here, there is a session ID. This is an identifier that expires in 30 minutes. And we use it to identify the steps you take to find your desired product and improve the experience. At the end, we only have the information that some person anywhere in the world made some clicks and queries. So now that we know this, let's begin our private journey. Okay. We can see that some queries and products are trending, and the search experience knows this because we count the number and types of clicks a product receives and the number of times a query is made. And I think that this is the only information you need to show this kind of insight. If you want to know if something is popular, just count the number of interactions it has. That's it. You don't need to know names or genders of people so you can know that there is a hat trending right now. Okay, let's look for a share. These results appear in this order because they have a score calculated by the match with the query. And we also take into account what is popular right now, like what I just showed you. So maybe with our anonymized integrations, we can modify this view. Let's try it. I like challenges. First, let's click on the first product. Okay. A click is an event that is used to understand and customize the experience, like I said, like showing popular products. And to know that, we consider the session ID, the product ID, and we modify the score, like what you can see in this yellow window right now. And, you know, a click is not something that important, so it doesn't increase the score so much. What if we add a shirt to our favorites? The score increases by two. This makes sense. It means this product is relevant to a shopper. And what about an um, add to cart? The score increases by three. If the increases vary on the shopper's interest, maybe if we buy a product, it increases more. Let's try buying the third product. This way, we may change the order of the products in this view, like I said. So I click here on the checkout. <laughs> we did it. It moved with change positions. And you can see here, we have our information in our local storage. The ID of the purchase product is in our purchase history, it makes sense. And the query we just did is in our query history. And of course, if we click on the search bar, we can see that query history in our own search bar. So this is more comfortable to people. You don't have to go to the local storage every time. And look, look here, the search we just bought is trending. We gave it a big score. This is just an example of the information we use. In reality, just one person couldn't influence the results that much. That's why we use Wizard of the Crowd. When many shoppers interact with a product, the score increases and it can change positions in real time. This is the first journey. Let's see the other two journeys that improve your experience while respecting your privacy. Okay, let's continue with our second journey. And to do that, we should pay attention to the search bar here because there is new information. Something called next queries. These are literally the next queries other people made after looking for sets. And this way, we can continue our journey without typing. Ah, uh, 
but I can't see the query I want to perform next. Okay, I just type it. I want glasses. Why? They are cool. But I think I saw another shirt I liked better. Let's use this next query right here to return to our previous one. It seems people prefer buying their glasses first and then matching shirts. Look at that. Look at that. The experience used my session ID to know that I first looked for shirts and then glasses. So it added here glasses as a possible next query. So it changed thanks to my interaction. Thanks to the session ID, anonymous queries are taken and relative to each other. And like I said, the session ID will expire in 30 minutes. So if we perform a new search in the future, it won't be linked to the past queries. And this is the same logic we use for the third privacy journey. Okay, so apart from these queries, we also have something called related tags. And they are words other people use to refine their query. In this case, we can see some here. They are to refine my shared query. And now I can refine it without typing, just by clicking to one related tag. The thing is that I want to look at red shirts. So I think I just have to type it here. Okay, they are also cool. I wonder. What would happen if I return to my shared query? Now, red is a new related tag. Again, this is just an example of how some of our privacy units work. In reality, it takes queries for more shoppers to influence the results. But as you can see, relevant and joyful experience can be achieved while maintaining privacy. Your data is important. You don't have to trade it for a good e-commerce experience. Do you want more information? Join us every Friday on our weekly LinkedIn Lives so you can see what we're working on. Or go to our webpage so you can have a global view. Let's redefine what we think about privacy in e-commerce together.